Hey guys! I realize I'm a bit late with this, but really quickly I wanted to give you guys an update on the rainbow TBR challenge that I'm doing. So I'm just gonna tell you about my progress and how it's been so far. I'm not really gonna give you guys any reviews or details about the books until I do my wrap up. This is all about my progress and how I am faring with this challenge. So if you guys don't know about the Rainbow TBR challenge that I am doing, then you will find the link up here and down in the description below. But basically, I picked six books based on the main six colors of the rainbow, and I'm challenging myself to read them. I'm just gonna say that this didn't start out easy because I am a sporadic reader, and what I may be feeling today, I may not be feeling tomorrow. So... <laughs> it's kind of hard to stick with the TBR for me, but actually I've been disciplining myself and I've been getting through the books and I'm really surprised that I have been able to stick with them the way that I have. Of course there are so many other books that have been grasping my attention and saying please read me, but I've been so focused on getting these books done. So I'm just going to show you guys what I have finished so far. Okay, that's not supposed to be there. Okay, so the first book that I read was... The Girl on the Cliff by Lucinda Riley. Yes, I read this, my green book. I read it and <sighs> I read it. I read it. Then I read my blue book, Prince of Shadows by Rachel Kane. And then I read Orchards by Holly Thompson, which is clearly my orange book. You can tell from this orange thing here. I mean, it looks like it's an orange, but there aren't any orange orchards in this book. They're like some other type of fruit, some Japanese fruit. Um, I forgot what they're called, but that's not important. Um, one thing that I did actually have an issue with with reading was, well, you know how you will be wanting to read something else like fantasy, something that's fast paced, something that's gonna grab you immediately. Um, mm, well, with one of my book choices, it was kind of uh, not pulling me in fast enough. So there was a bit of an issue there. I mean, of course I powered through it, I got through it and I, I read it, I completed it. But you know, there are just occasions when I want to read something fast-paced and something that's going to really pull me into it. And I know not every book is going to be like that. I'm not saying that the book was bad, just, you know, I was feeling something else and it wasn't giving me what I was wanting, what I was craving. Okay, it just wasn't giving me what I was craving, so, yeah. Um, I still have, wait. Is that my... Okay, yeah. I still have Out Around the Moon by Stacey Lee, which is my red book. Devoted by Jennifer Matthew, which is my yellow book. And I am almost finished Snow by Tracy Lynn. Yes. Which is my purple book, by the way. If you couldn't tell. Yeah. So I'm almost finished and I'm so happy because I have been doing it. Um, I actually like that I've been able to discipline myself to get these done. I'm doing good and I'm happy with myself. It's actually really funny because I feel like I've gotten a lot more reading done having this TBR thing. And I know that some of you guys said that you wanted to do the challenge in July as opposed to June. Um, some of you had busy reading schedules. Some of you just had a lot going on. But I actually decided that I'm going to do it in July. You know why? Because I think it would be so much fun to do it with you guys. I think it would be awesome if we did this together and... Oh goodness, there are just so many books that I want to read this summer. I don't know, I didn't want to do a TBR thing in July. <sighs> but you know what? TBR piles don't mean that you have to read only the books that you have selected. You can read outside of the TBR pile, and I have to keep telling myself that. I have to keep telling myself that. It's okay. Although, I was thinking, if I were to do um, this Rainbow TBR challenge in July, I might um, do something a little different. I was thinking about doing an extended Rainbow TBR challenge where you'd like have the six main colors of the rainbow, of course, but then you add like pink and 
gray and black and white and oh, I think that would be nice. Yeah, that's a lot. I know. It's a lot. <laughs> but, you know, I like a good challenge. I said that before. But anyways, I'm going to be doing a TBR video very soon because July is like right there, a few days away. So I'm going to let you guys know what I'm going to be reading. And if you guys want to participate, then make sure you watch my upcoming video. And I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Or you will see me. I won't see you, but you'll see me. Yeah, oh gosh. Okay, see you guys next time. <laughs>